Sign up to The Athletic and read a sensible transfers piece about your team. Barcelona's situation is uncomfortable. Underperforming in the league by their own high standards, with a far more functional coach in Ronald Koeman than many socios would like. And of course the club are also suffering the financial effects of the pandemic. Interim president Carlos Tusquets is unlikely to make any bids this January, but he may well accept offers for players, as Barcelona's precarious financial position means that approaches for Philippe Coutinho, Samuel Umtiti and Junior Firpo would likely be entertained. The club's wage costs have been spiralling over the last decade, the squad is the highest paid in world sport, while debts have been mounting. And the club's Article 67 means that the whole board might have to resign should the debt ratio reach a certain point. With the pandemic causing an enormous revenue decline, a bloated squad must be trimmed before Barcelona can buy again. But the need to plan and execute a squad overhaul is both essential and complicated. For a start, new elections for a club president could bring a new coach, possibly a return for Xavi. So any business must be done with that in mind. Players that suit Kerman might not fit the plans of his successor. But Kerman has stated that he wants a centre-forward and a centre-back, and while a tactically astute and defensively-minded midfielder to sit alongside Frankie de Jong makes sense in the long term, and regardless of whether the Dutchman's stay in Catalonia is a long one. Last season's 16 league goal haul from Luis Suarez showed the value of having a penalty box striker. While Leo Messi can still be relied upon for the bulk of Barca's creative output, until the end of the season at least, Suarez was able to occupy defenders, pulling them out of positions for runs from other players and finishing chances created from crosses or through balls. Memphis Depay has been on Kerman's radar since he joined the club, and the Dutch striker would be a good fit at Barcelona. Crucially, Depay is an all-round attacking talent, capable of playing as an advanced striker, attacking from wide areas or dropping off to thread through balls onto other players. Depay has often played alongside or wide of a central striker at Lyon. But that doesn't stop him getting into the box, often making intelligent runs off a 1-2. While his tally has recently been boosted by a lot of penalties, he still scores a good array of goals, from tap-ins up close to rifled efforts from the edge of the box. And he's a smart player, tactically flexible and positionally versatile. And there are other advantages too. Depay's contract expires at the end of June 2021 and Leon are unlikely to convince him to extend. As well as knowing Kerman from the Dutch national side, he also has the semblance of a relationship with de Jong, who will be the centrepiece of this Barca side for many years to come. Technically and financially, it would be a good match, even if some doubts remain over Depay's ability to handle the big club stage. He was just 21 when he moved to Manchester United, but that was still a hugely disappointing period which has left lingering questions that might need an answer. Another younger Dutch talent who fits the bill is PSV's Cody Gakpo. Although PSV often field him in a front two with Daniel Marlin, he can also play on either flank. He's tall, quick and comfortable dropping off to create with clever through passes where he often pauses, holds the ball and then releases for a runner. Like Depay, Gakpo is a versatile attacker who could play as a nominal number 9 while being flexible enough to work within a variety of attacking approaches. And keep an eye on Caio Jorge of Santos. The 18-year-old centre-forward is more of a pure striker than our other suggestions, with smart movement in the box and an instinct for rebounds or pressing defenders into mistakes. Expect good things from the Brazil youth international and maybe a successful move to Europe in a few years' time. Now here, Barcelona have two issues that need solving. They concede far too many chances and Gerard Piquet is almost 34. This position should be the next priority. Duye Chalatetia, Marseille's 24-year-old Croatian centre-back, is quietly becoming one of the world's best defenders. Physically imposing, he's nonetheless a composed defensive presence, relying as much on timing and positioning as he does his strength. He's good at stepping forwards from the line to hold up attackers without necessarily committing to a tackle, although his one-on-one -on -one defending in wide areas is occasionally flat-footed. Technically, Chalatasia is a very competent passer, certainly good enough to fit in at Barcelona. While he also wins over 65% of his defensive duels, a figure that rises to over 70% for aerial duels. 
Now, Marseille are not as exposed to Liga's financial issues as some of their peers, but a healthy offer could still prize him away. He wouldn't look out of place at any top European side, but one that values passing defenders would suit him particularly well. A 21-year-old centre-back from Swedish club Malmo might seem risky for a club of Barcelona's stature, but Tifo recommends keeping an eye on Arnold Amadhozic. A very front-foot defender with high numbers for interceptions, he's also elegant in possession and aerially strong at 6 foot 4. Like Chaletasa, he pushes out of the defensive line to nick the ball from receivers and, if anything, is a better one-on-one -on -one defender, albeit facing a lower quality of attacker. He's one for the long-term radar. As is Chilean centre-back Daniel Gonzalez. The 18-year-old is starting regularly in Chile's top flight for Santiago Wanderers winning a hugely impressive 78% of his defensive duels. He's quick, with great positional recovery, good timing in the challenge, and capable of sweeping long passes. Central midfield isn't an overall priority, but while De Jong continues to impress and Ricky Puig has extended his contract and remains a good, if not great, prospect, Barcelona might benefit from a more defensive presence who can still transition the ball well. And maybe there's room for a reclamation project in Benfica's Julian Weigel. Weigel is a lovely upright footballer, defensively astute and a good reader of the game. He's capable of little moments of skill to buy him time to pick a pass, and he gets the ball forwards regularly with thoughtful progressive passes. He might have been overhyped as a young player. As an 18-year-old, Weigel captained 1860 Munich, and after he joined Borussia Dortmund, having been signed after Thomas Tuchel's arrival, Lothar Matthias compared him to Pep Guardiola, no less. But he would stall at Dortmund. He left Germany for Portugal in late 2019, at which point he hadn't made an international appearance for almost two and a half years, and he still hasn't. So it would be a long way back. But the more sedate pace of La Liga would suit his style well, and he's a smart player who thrived under the complex tactical demands of Tuchel. Barcelona could do a lot worse than take a chance on the player once compared to their most illustrious of pivots, particularly at a time when they lack financial primacy. We also think David Ayala, Estudiante's 18-year-old defensive midfielder, is one to watch. Although the Argentinian under-17 international needs to add some bulk, Ayala is a terrier out of possession, regularly making interceptions and recoveries. He also has a lovely long pass with his left foot, opening his body to drive the ball out into the wide left area or dragging it across to the right. Good distribution, energy and defensive tenacity make him an excellent prospect. If you want to read a sensible transfers piece about your team, now you can. We've expanded the series across The Athletic, with dedicated journalists covering each Premier League team. And today, you can sign up for £1 per week by visiting the link in the description. You'll get access to the full array of football coverage, plus in-depth coverage about teams across 10 other sports. Thank you for watching today's video.